You having fun yet? <laughs> morning welcome to life on the moose thanks for joining me today i appreciate that hey let's build some cabin walls i'm gonna be out here for a few more hours i'm not sure how much i'm going to get done on site so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to unload this stuff and then i may go back to the barn on red moose ranch and build headers i have some plywood there and i have I think seven headers to build all together. So instead of sitting here in the sun and doing it, I'm gonna go back and do it in the shade if I can. So, okay, well, let's get this thing unloaded. Here, I'll go get a pair of gloves for you. What's that? Oh, you, okay, fine, you watch, I'll unload this, and then later you can help me lift walls. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, I decided since the compressor was here, I'm just gonna go ahead and frame one or two sections, get them up. I just won't put the headers in yet. And we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna do my 12 foot wall. Of course, most dimensional lumber comes a little bit longer. So I have to trim these at 12 feet. Probably have to trim my studs too. I'm guessing. My air nailer is leaking somewhere in the trigger. I need to take it apart or something. I'm just laying this out on 16 inch centers. Just laying out my top and bottom plate at the same time. Okay, here's what we have going on so far. So there's where my window is going to be. It's a three by three foot window. The bottom of the window is going to be three feet off the ground. It's pretty common between three feet, 42 inches off the ground or off the floor is pretty common. So I have my studs laid out. Um, this is my cripple for under the window. This is my jack, which holds up the header. And this is the king. King goes all the way top to bottom plate. So I'm going to nail these together and leave space for my header after I get that made. Nails! I'm gonna to attempt to lift, lift this up, but I'm gonna put a, a bracing board on the corner of this wall, and this will help hold it up, I believe, once it's stood up. Okay. So 
hopefully that'll flap, follow it over. It's a little breezy right now. Hopefully this won't go flying away. All right, here's where I need your help. And if you could grab this. All right, all right, you watch. It's okay, it's safer that way. He's a little heavy. I don't know. All right. Is this going to work? I don't know. Let's check it out. Wish me luck. Hmm. <laughs> All right. You want to nail that end in? <laughs> I'll get it. Good news is that's the heaviest piece we have. Okay, now what I'm going to do, since I have this diagonal right here that's it's supporting this corner okay. Before I take off, it's 1210 and it's about 180 degrees. <laughs> it just feels like it. So before I take off, I wanna secure that other corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a half wall on the other side. So it's only eight feet long, the other wall. And there's a three foot window in there as well. So it's gonna be a lot lighter. You having fun yet? Okay, wow, this phone does not like it when it's warm. I was just about ready to lift that wall up and my phone died. It's getting warm. So I did get that little eight foot section of wall up. Got that corner secured. So that's pretty strong. I got it braced up a little bit on each, each side as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the, to the barn and either this afternoon, depending on how hot it is in there, maybe do it first thing in the morning. I'm gonna get those headers built and then maybe wrap this thing up tomorrow morning. I'm going to get out here early. So it is now 111. Yeah, it's past my curfew to get out of the sun. I think it's a sign when my phone dies. Okay, we're making progress. Well, I'll see you. Well, you'll see me tomorrow. No, wait, you'll see me right away. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. Stay tuned. Well, it's the following morning after the scene that you last saw, and I'm sitting here on Red Moose Ranch. For those of you that are new and might not have seen this place, this is what we call Red Moose Ranch. This place is about three miles away from the spur cabin that I'm currently building. So I'm set up right here on the west side of the barn. It's gonna be in the shade for a couple of hours. 
give me a chance to work on those headers. Rough night last night. Didn't get a lot of sleep. It was hot. The cabin, the main cabin, we call it the cabin, which is actually built as a garage and we modified it a little bit. Doesn't have air conditioning. Thankfully, it has a slab concrete floor and that stays cool. And without that, I probably would have died. <laughs> Not kidding, it was hot. The bad thing about last night was the fact that, see that smoke in the distance? All of that rolled in just as it got dark. So I didn't have the opportunity to open the doors and windows and get some nice cool air blowing through. So anyway, here we are. Enough of me complaining. Let's get to work and build some headers. Okay, I have two window sizes, five feet wide and three feet wide. For a five foot opening, I gotta add three inches because that header is gonna sit on top of two jack studs, which is gonna take up an inch and a half on both sides. So five foot opening, five foot three inch header. And as far as the size of header you need, a little bit ambiguous as far as just researching it in general. I'm no engineer and I haven't really, and, and this is not engineered. I use a little bit of experience, a little bit of common sense, and then I add extra. That's kind of how I operate. Most of the tables tell me that for a five foot opening, you can just sandwich two two by eights. The old school is just to sandwich two two by twelves, no matter what it is. What I'm gonna do is do three two by eights because there is a potential for a lot of snow load. And also there's going to be a loft in part of it. I'd rather overkill. So I'm gonna do three two by eights and then I have some scrap plywood left over, I'll just fill it in. So three two by eights is four and a half inches, one inch of plywood, more than I need. It'll give me my five and a half inches for the thickness of my walls. Okay, I'm gonna start building these things. So I just gotta remember to keep the crown all on one side. It's short. Eh, it doesn't matter, it's just filler. It'll be just fine. Okay, make sure I have no plywood sticking out beyond the boundary of the two by eight. So I have three inch nails. I don't want to drive that into here or I'll come out the other sides. I'm going to sandwich this piece first. Piece of native pine here. Took this from the property. All right. Okay, let's start nailing that down. Two of those. 
Okay, now I just have to repeat that process for the three feet windows. We have five windows that are three feet wide. That's a lot of windows, I know, but we do have a loft, so we want some light up there as well. So that's gonna be two by six material, same process. Oh, by the way, yes, this is the same shirt I was wearing yesterday, all sweaty and gross, but I washed it. I don't have a washing machine in the cabin here, but I do have some detergent. And over the years, I've had to hand wash stuff. This shirt is particularly well in wicking moisture and it keeps me cool. That's why I wanted to wear this shirt today because it's gonna be a scorcher today and tomorrow. And then back to normal temperatures, I hope. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is all my headers are done. They're all constructed. Two for the five foot windows. They're all gonna be three feet tall, by the way. Five for the three foot wide. The bad news is the smoke really poured in in the last half an hour. I don't know if you can see mountains over there. Normally you can. Same thing with over there. I'm sacked in. So I don't think I'm gonna be working today outside over there. What I might do is actually run to town, go to the library, upload a video or two. We'll finish this episode sooner or later. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon. Okay, good morning. We're back on site. Check out that sun. Can you see that sun from there? Yeah, it's pretty pretty hazy. The good news is the haze is blocking out the sun and yesterday's high was about 10 degrees off its mark because of the haze, because of the smoke. But, you know, it's early now. The breeze is coming in from the southwest. It's blowing the smoke out right now. But I think that's gonna change 9, 10 o'clock when it gets warmed up. So there's your smoke update. So I'm gonna get working on this. I have my headers finished. So I'm gonna get start working quickly. Thanks for all the comments, by the way. I was just reading through them this morning. Love them, I really do. It's, it's awesome. It ranges from just the nicest thing I've ever heard to downright insulting. No, I'm kidding. You aren't gonna insult me. No, seriously, I love the comments. Keep them up, like the questions. Remember, I'm not an expert at anything. I'm just doing what I do. This isn't necessarily a how-to video or a how-to channel. It's more of a how I channel, how I do it.
I don't know if you saw that. But I have not been nailing my my jack studs tight to the kings because I want to get my headers in there first. Makes it easier so I don't have to fight it. And I'll go button it up afterwards. As you see, I still have the, the verticals above the openings to do. And I'll do that too. I have these four inch timber screws. I'm gonna screw through the bottom plate, get it down into the joist. Every couple of feet should do it. Not sure you can see this two by six is twisted right here so it's not flush with the end of the sill so i found that if you take a channel lock i know channel lock is a brand name i guess so take pliers like this open it up as wide as it can go at least on this size and then if i torque on that it'll twist just the top and give me what i need Hey, let's go rob a stagecoach. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's not rob anybody. I want to show you what happened overnight. The accumulation of this ash. See how that gray stuff is piling up in the corners there? Check that out. It's just ash. So that's why I'm going to wear this thing as much as possible today. See if we can get this thing wrapped up. This is day four of this project. Studs aren't flush. Drive a nail in part way. Grab it with the claws. Apply leverage. Nail it home. When somebody was making headers a couple days ago, somebody forgot to make the header for the door. 36 inch. They recommend an inch on each side for a rough opening. 38 inches sits on jack studs. So this header is gonna be 41 inches long.
Okay, last wall. I'll get this side. All right, I'll get it. All right, here we go. Don't go anywhere. That's four walls. We're getting somewhere. I gotta put that header up, button a few things up, and we'll be out of here. Well, will you look at that? Four walls. Well, come on in. Let me show you around. All right. Have all the lower cripples in. All the sills are in. I still have to do all the upper cripples. Upper cripples? Is that what you call it? I think it's called upper cripples. I'm no professional framer. Never been a professional framer. I won't profess to be. Is there a better way to do some of this stuff? Probably. It's still nasty out. We're going to call this an episode. It's 1.50. I did not bring my lunch today. I didn't think it would take me this long. But that's the way the ball bounces. Look at that. We have four walls up. That's exciting. Okay, I think that's it. It's getting breezy. It's starting to kick up some ash. Four walls are framed. I'm happy about that. You're standing in the edge of the living room, by the way doors right there this half or close to it will be there'll be a loft up above so maybe we'll get going on that I don't know the next one or the one episode after that maybe not sure everything's kind of a moving part with this whole thing really Whew. okay as you can see it's pretty nasty out there Not a bad view, huh? All right. Well, that's it for me. That's it for this episode. I'm not going to do a single thing. I don't care what you say. You couldn't pay me enough. Well, you could pay me enough. No. Thanks for riding along. I appreciate you watching this. It means a lot to me. It really does. Come back next week. Let's do it again. All right. Take care. Take care.